Hello and welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, my name's David and I do all things home decor. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a little shop with me and then come back here and I'll show you a quick little haul. This will be a collective haul, not just from the stores I'm going to show you today. So let's get into the video. We are at one of my all time favorite stores, Hobby Lobby. I'm going to be showing you several things that I would purchase if you know I had the money as well as I will be picking up a few items from the store so I thought this table was gorgeous it's like farmhouse but modern I don't know I love it currently right this minute Hobby Lobby has all their table decor 50% off so I was looking at a few of their vases and vessels that they carry showing you ones that I really really enjoyed and I spot this large large vessel and it was only $27.99, which I thought was such a good deal, especially with the half off going on. That only makes it $13, 14 which is honestly a steal. This one here was only $13.99. Again, what a great deal. This one's about 9 inches tall, and it's like made of cement or something. They had a really good selection of like cement looking pots that were pretty heavy duty. And really really good prices especially with half off you really can't beat these prices especially ones that are already looking designer already ready to go but i will be doing a couple diys on some of them and i will uh, talk more about that later on but yeah anyways i wanted to show you this pot i thought it was gorgeous i absolutely would have bought this but i thought it was a bit pricey even at 80 dollars it'd make it about 40 dollars which i just really not in the budget to spend 40 on a pot Found this really really cute smaller one and this is only going for $5.99 again it's half off these prices guys I'm just so thrilled to be finding such good stuff and again if you can see past the color you can always paint it and I'm gonna be showing a few videos later on on what I'm gonna do to kind of update well not really update but more or less antique some of my vases and vessels and pots that I picked up today so that way you guys will be able to recreate your own and make your pots look even more expensive than what the prices are here at Hobby Lobby. So stay tuned for that video. I'm not sure when I'll release it, but I'm super excited. That way we can get started and have some new stuff for 2020 to springtime. <laughs> I absolutely loved this pot. Everything about it was gorgeous. I totally would have paid $44 for this, but I left it behind. And again, I'm still kind of on the hunt for different vessels and things like that. I thought this was the cutest little guy. I had to pick this one up. I just thought it was super cute. They also have these really cool risers. And again, this is part of the ta table decor. It is half off. And I've been seeing a lot of these cool little chains recently. Hobby Lobby does carry them. This one was only $12.99 and it was half off again. And recently I've been really really enjoying a lot of bird cages so I tried to kind of ooh look at this. Look at this. Squirrel. Anyways $23.99 for a bird cage but it is half off. Love this pillow. They have so many great pillows at Hobby Lobby. This is $29.99 but again if you go on a week they're half off. You can get a better deal obviously i'm just showing you the ones that i really enjoyed that are already put together you get the pillow and the pillow cover and everything 24 to 29.99 is about the average price but if you go on a week they're half off usually it's every other week this week they're not same with the glassware i thought this was so so pretty i love the way it looks it looks like a little snowman or something it looks very high-end and unique i loved these candle holders made of wood they're very simple kind of farmhouse but super modern to me love those i love this bird cage but again i'm not gonna buy any bird cages because i don't need them but i'm loving them at the moment i think they're so pretty hobby lobby also offers so many different candles different colors for every season i loved 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 this piece here i just didn't care for the green i love the green color just not on this piece I would get two of these and put them kind of like on the sides of a headboard or something and put like a little candle. The candle would like reflect into the mirror and provide lots of light. I just think that was, they would be so cool or maybe on the sides of a fireplace or something. I don't know. They're just so, so pretty. 
I would obviously repaint them though. They also have these high-end designer candles, more or less. I have this one right here and it smells amazing if you like this type of scent. It's very powerful. They're definitely well worth, um, they go for about $14.99. But again, sometimes they go half off, so you have to just catch them on the weeks they go half off. And I smelled this one, and it smelled lovely. They're very, very potent in the scent. So I think it's worth the seven, eight bucks when it's half off, you know what I mean? And you get a really cool, pretty glass with it. If you don't really like candles or, you know, all that, they do have room sprays, which I think can be high-end. And this one smelled amazing. It was a cashmere. I love cashmere. And I just adore this little basket. I think it looks so designer. I don't know. I think I've showed this on my channel before, but I would catch it again at half off. This week, baskets are not half off. And these little stools. This is considered table decor, so it was half off. I loved this one here. I thought it was so cool. I like the color and everything about it. However, I just don't really need a stool. And it was like 30 something dollars, so I was like, ah, I'm going to pass on that. <laughs> Again, the basket up here I think is so cool. Now I'm just going to browse through the fabric section and point out the ones that I think would be designer that you could use in your home decor. Maybe make some pillow covers. I loved the orange and this green color. They're the same print, just a different color. I love this vintage blue floral pattern. I thought it was so pretty. And this one here is just flat out gorgeous. Love the gold like leaves with the pink flowers. So pretty. They also have already made pillow covers if you wanted to go that route. And they are half off. So they had so many to choose from. I did not pick up any in this shopping trip. But usually I do find a cool one. I loved the one right here. I just randomly picked up. I actually really liked it. Was this like velvety texture like crushed velvet this one here is also a pretty good deal i think it looks better in person than it does on the picture it shows and this one is also really really pretty they have these that i think look designer to me and I did pick one up that's more in the blue color, and I, I love it. I don't have it displayed right now on my couch, but I think it's very, very good quality. Most of these pillow covers are pretty good quality, just so you know. Love this boho kind of one. It kind of reminds me of the one I made on my channel a while back. And I do have this one. I picked it up a long time ago, like a year ago or so. Now I'm kind of popping over and seeing what they have over in this art and mirror section. I found this gorgeous mirror and I think I showed you this in a couple videos back when I went to Hobby Lobby and showed you the gorgeous mirrors. Oh my goodness guys. I just think the, everything I keep finding is just definitely looks designer to me. This lamp is so cool. It was definitely on the pricier side at $69.99. I don't really know if that was half off. I think it was because it is considered table decor yeah I don't I still wouldn't pay it just because you can thrift something and make your own you know what I mean so I found this over in like the I call it the higher end section I don't know what you guys call it but it's like the middle area where they have all the really nice home decor when you first walk into the store and I just found all these cute pieces and I just wanted to show you guys I thought they were so cool And in case you weren't really into small little pieces, you could always pick up the larger one here if you are into this style. I wanted to point out I found these really cool frames in the back there. I think they're so cute. They look very vintage. I actually have a frame that my friend gave me that has like a little doll holding a bear or something. And I think it would look so cute in the frame like this. We keep finding these chains and they're getting bigger and bigger. I don't know guys, I'm not super into the chains. Let me know in the comments below if you like that decor or not. 
and I could not believe I found this. I thought it was so cool. I'm obviously going to try to recreate this myself just because I don't really want to pay the price. You know how I am. So I'm going to come up with a DIY that hopefully I can share with you. So if you're not already, make sure you are subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my DIY videos that I will be releasing in the next few months. And while you're at it, go ahead and just like this video. Okay, so you guys, Hobby Lobby is now carrying the brand Teflon, and I love these. They felt so great, just feeling the texture of everything. Everything feels like high quality. It's going to last. The aprons were nice. The little hand towels were very thick and very nice. I think they're well worth the price, because you got to remember, it's 40% off. All of this is considered like spring, so it's 40% off. They had these cute little pot grippers, like a mini mitt and the pot gripper, which I thought the pot gripper was so cool. I mean, who doesn't need this? You need this in your life. Hobby Lobby is also carrying these. I think they had them last year and I love them. They definitely just feel more high end or luxury. I don't know. I really, really like this chair. It looks modern, like mid century modern, but it's made of plastic. For the price they're asking, that's a new, new, new. <laughs> it's $159. That's with your discount. That's way too much for a plastic chair, in my opinion. But they are outdoor chairs. That's why that little hole is there for the water to drain out of it. I loved these baskets. I thought they were cute. They're pretty good quality. They're metal. And this thing, it looks like a cat litter scoop. But it's actually for food. It's a strainer, which I thought was a little weird because it definitely looks like you scoop cat litter with it. These boards are so, so cool. They have everything wood you can imagine right now. They have these little serving boards, I want to say. I'm not sure. Maybe you put little shot glasses and line them up on there. <laughs> That's what I would do. Um, and they have these wooden bowls I thought were really nice. They have little cutting boards. They have little wooden spoons that I absolutely adore and we're going to get into those. So this mini one here is made of black walnut. It's going for $7.99. Again, everything is 40% off that says spring shop on the tag. I just wanted to point out they do have olive wood, but it is more expensive. It was $9.99 versus the Acacia wood was $7.99. And you guys know I'm a sucker for a wooden spoon, so I had to pick this up. I also wanted to point out that Hobby Lobby has other aprons, just in case you aren't into the Teflon. This one right here, I got this one last year and I absolutely love it. It's like this denim material. It's very, very nice. I feel like when you're shopping for higher end looking decor, you want to look for things like this. This would be more on the high end just because it's very simple. Now I'm very aware high end decor is very subjective to who is buying the decor, but these are just my opinions. I do really, really enjoy this pizza tray that you just scoop the pizza right out of the oven. It was going for $10, which I thought was a great deal. And I found another, yet another pot. This one was a hanging pot. I thought it was super cute. 40% off $17.99. And I really, really liked this large glass jar. It seals shut. But I just really don't know what you would put in here. <laughs> I mean, probably like six dozen cookies. Who knows? <laughs> That's what I would put in my jar that big. <laughs> and I really, really, really liked these birdhouses. I thought they were super cute. <laughs> very, very cute. I didn't see one that really I wanted to buy. So maybe I'll make my own for spring. I don't know. We'll see if I come up with a DIY or not. Thanks to Nancy, I now know how to make my own birdhouse. 
So here I'm just kind of browsing their rugs and what things they have new this year. They have a lot of great pillow selection, all different colors. I absolutely loved this print, like on, I don't know, this floral with the bird print. $30, but it's 40% off. Such a great deal, honestly. These look very designer, and I think they'd look great outside on your porch or whatever. I also enjoyed the striped ones as well up here. I thought those were very nice. Again, simple. And I liked this floral pattern as well. Again, we're in the spring shop section. I found this cute little bird. When I flipped it over, it didn't say spring shop on the bottom though. So I was a little confused as to where this came from, like which department does it belong to? Cause I wanna know if I get a discount or not. Anyway, <laughs> here is that beautiful mirror I showed you in a prior Hobby Lobby shopping video. And I gotta say, this is absolutely stunning. I think it's absolutely worth the $500, uh, but it is 40% off. So look how clear as day. I mean, it's just so pretty. And this one was $149. Again, that detail is just gorgeous. I'm, I'm loving this. Everything about it. Now, you guys did see I got a metal one last year. It's black. That's on my porch. And I love it. I still love it. I'm also really digging these simple landscape paintings. So I definitely will be trying my best to recreate one that's here at Hobby Lobby because the price point is not really in my budget to spend like 30 bucks on a new painting but it's really not a bad deal if you are looking for new artwork i would go with something simple like that and look at the price of this guy i think it's way too much 70 dollars with the 40 percent off would be like 40 dollars or something i don't know it's just not worth it for that piece i actually find one at tuesday morning later on in this video and while you're at Hobby Lobby, don't forget to check out the clearance section. I found this leather cording and look at these, these little pillars. I think they're so cool, little columns that you can put like a statue on the top of it. Priced pretty good. I thought this one was so beautiful, but I really didn't want to pay the price. But maybe someday I'll go back and buy it because $36.99 doesn't sound too bad for that. So moving on from Hobby Lobby, I went over to Aldi and though I didn't pick anything up, I wanted to show you guys, they have this really, really nice chunky knit throw. However, I've had my experience with that type of material and I just don't think it's worth buying. They also had these, they were on clearance for $4. And the same brand, Crofton, they also have these soup mugs. I think they're so cool. They're very large mugs. They also have these beautiful candles that were only $5 smelled amazing and i didn't know that aldi carried these little scent packs moving on to tuesday morning you guys they had these were just so so pretty only sixty dollars which i thought was a pretty good deal i don't know i might go back and get one to replace mine because mine's kind of falling apart anyway but again that's for summertime and we're not even close to summer we got to get through spring Tuesday morning carried a bunch of different little bird feeders. I thought these ones were super cute. I love the shape, very, very good quality. And they're only $13, which I thought wasn't terribly priced. And I found this really, really, really cool home decor item that's for Easter. But first let's take a look at these cute little bunnies. They have the hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. Love that, they're so cute. <laughs> So let's show you the piece that I found. It's so, so cute, is it not? It looks so high-end, very designer. Only one was there at the store and it was $8. And I also found this artichoke, cement artichoke um, finial for the garden. And this ginormous bust, I could not get over this. I thought it was the coolest thing. It's just way too large. I think it'd be cool out in the garden though to put like some flowers or something in it just coming out it's like one of those large pots it was like three feet tall i'm still kind of in the large section of stuff these lanterns were literally so huge they might not look that huge but look at the chair that's sitting next to these lanterns i mean they're huge this little lantern well, i shouldn't say little look how big it is next to the chair <laughs> 
It's just outrageously way too big, but I think it's worth $50. What do you guys think? And then I spotted this gorgeous lamp. I thought it was so, so pretty. I'm not too sure why the lamp was on clearance because it looks new, or at least they marked it down anyway, so maybe it's not clearance, but it was $72, so I'm not sure why. I found these, I've never seen these, but I thought they were cool. This is olive oil that's in like a handmade little pot that's from Mexico, and I'm like, Oh my gosh, these are so cute. They have different colors and everything and someone hand painted them. I loved these bowls. I thought they were gorgeous. $3.99 is pretty good for, you know, a high-end looking bowl, I would say. And then I spotted these really, really cute bowls as well. They were $3.49. I just like the like detailing on the bowl. These were super cool, maybe for parties. You could have like some dips out, like different dips. I don't know. I just was like intrigued by them. I like the wood. And these ones had little spoons that came with them. How cute. Then I spotted these gorgeous bowls. I loved them so much. I actually had to pick them up because, uh, hello, $8 for four bowls. They are on the smaller side, about four inches or so. I thought they were just so stinking cute. I had no idea that Tuesday morning carried all these rugs and I thought I'm gonna go ahead and go through them and I found some really good ones. However, I'm just not really in the market to be buying a rug so I didn't buy anything even though I really wanted to. <laughs> They're not bad priced at all. Like this one was $149 and it looks vintage like Turkish and it even had this adorable cute little fringe kind of moment on the bottom which I really really liked that a lot so cute it's just those little details that really make the rug very unique and your own you know what I mean I found this one as well I just didn't like really love it for 149 I don't know but the pastel colors are very very nice I also came across this one I liked it and I'm like, ooh, for $60, that's really not bad. But the colors really wouldn't go in my home, so I did not buy this. And it does say the wrong um, sizing on this paper. So I looked at the actual rug itself and it actually says five by seven, even though this thing says five by five. So I don't know if that's priced correctly or not, either way. 5x7 for 60 bucks is a really good deal. <laughs> Just saying. I thought these hand towels were pretty cool. I mean, I don't know if they're luxury or not. They're $8, but you got two in a pack. So I thought... That wasn't too bad, $4 each one. And then they found this like vessel. There was no price on it. They had a couple of them just kind of sitting there. So I don't know. I thought they were neat though. And this pot is really cool. I think you could do a little DIY moment with it. Change up the color, obviously. Unless you like red. The side table here is just the coolest little thing. I love it so much. So here is a, another one of those long wooden dough bowls, I want to call this. And this was a lot cheaper than the one at Hobby Lobby. This was going for $30 flat. Like there's no discount obviously, but that is quite a discount. I think it's really, really good price, $30 for this. And it's definitely handmade. You can see all the little indentations where they hand carved the piece. So yeah, I really enjoyed these pieces as well. I found this gorgeous vase. I love the shape of it. However, I'm not a huge fan of like the gold shimmery things. 
I do like this wooden ball decor. I thought that was very cool how you can see it. every little piece is carved out. And here's a cute little pot. I found these organic looking pots I thought were very cool, especially this one here. And this was only eight dollars not bad now we are at joe and fabrics and craft store and i wanted to show you guys in case you wanted to make your own artichoke finial like i've just got from tuesday morning these are 70 percent off because they are part of the christmas line i loved this bowl i thought it looked so high end so so pretty and this is way overpriced in the easter section they have this for 24.99 they literally sell this bowl at Dollar Tree. I bought it before. <laughs> okay, so now that we're back here at my house, I wanted to show you guys a few things that I've kind of collected over the past couple months. I haven't been like doing full on haul videos really. Been trying to focus more on my DIY so I can clear out that craft room. <laughs> so anyways, let's go ahead and get into the hauls. So I'm going to start with, I talked about a store called 2430 Surplus. That's where I got that beautiful king size coverlet with the bees that were embroidered all over it. Just so pretty. I'll put a little picture here of it. Hopefully if I have one. I wanted to kind of go off of that store real quick to show you a few other goodies I found there. So we'll start with this here. I found this amazing pillow there. This was actually from the Threshold line from Target. It originally goes for about $20 at Target. And again, this store is like one of those resale shops where they get extra things. I don't know. But this is a removable cover so you can zip it off and wash it. You guys aren't going to believe the price I paid for it. I only paid $6 for this pillow, which I thought was a really good deal considering it was $20 at Target and it's the same pillow. Um, I really like this kind of muted terracotta color. It kind of, it goes really well with the sage green tones, gray tones, blue tones. It just, it just feels very neutral because it plays off the terracotta pots. Not bad. Not bad at all. And it's really comfortable. It has like a really thick, almost like not quite denim. We'll just go with denim though. It feels like denim. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna toss this to the side. Ooh. Another great find that I got there. I got a two pack of these pillows. The other one is on my bed right now. Wow, they're so comfortable to be honest. Majority of this is polyester. Like the filling is polyester fiber. And then this this part is polyester and rayon, but it feels so nice. It's very, very comfortable. Both pillows that came in a two pack were only $5 and they had so many of this color of the blue and then this other kind of cream color, but I really wanted some blue ones to pop in to my space because I love this muted blue. I think it's going to look so good. You guys know I love pillows. I'm obsessed with them. I have another pillow to show you, but hold on. We'll get into it. So another cool item. They had these on sale for only a dollar. It says four dollars, but they were on sale for only one dollar. And I thought that was an amazing deal. That's better than Dollar Tree because this is a three ounce. I think the Dollar Tree carries something similar, but they're way smaller. Like you only get maybe half an ounce. So I thought that was pretty good deal for a dollar. This says that it lasts for six months and that the essential oils are 100% pure in the inside. Who knows if that's true, but I really wanted to get some different ones. I got three different ones of these, but this is one I'm going to show you guys. Another really cool item that I found at that store was this cake stand. I thought it was so pretty. This was only $8. And this again was from the threshold. It says it right here. It's from threshold from Target. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure I've seen this at Target, but yeah. I thought I had to pick it up because it's eight bucks and this will go great for when me and Stephanie have our 30th birthday party. I'm so excited for that, which you guys have heard me a couple times by now say it in on my YouTube channel. But my birthday is May 1st and her birthday is March 24th. So we're going to combine our parties together in April and just make like one big party for both of us to celebrate our 30th. So that'll be really fun. I'm really, really looking forward to that party. 
week. Let's keep going. I think that was it from 2430. Let me go ahead and jump over to Walmart. I got last month on my channel. I did post a picture of it, but I wanted to show you guys a little mm, action here. This is just gorgeous. I love this like hand stitch detail. This was from Walmart, which I thought was wow. When I saw this, I knew I had to have it and I passed it up and then I left and then I turned around and came back to Walmart to find the pillow and I bought it because <laughs> it was only like $18, $19, which I thought was a steal considering how large it is and how like thick the pillow is. It's very comfortable. I love all the details about it. Like it has these three tassels on the corners of each side. It has this beautiful side that I'm showing you and a reversible side, which is also just so gorgeous. I love the green tones with the cream. I think it's perfect for spring. It feels very designer to me. I don't know. This says it's down alternative fill. That must be why it feels so plumptuous and luxe. Yeah, I couldn't believe it was only like $18. If I find this on Walmart's website or on Amazon, I will link this down below. So if you got in case you guys want to try to find this pillow, it's by Better Homes and Gardens. It's called Soft Sea slash Vanilla Dream. It's a 20 inch by 20 inch. The best part about pillows that I love is that you wash the cover. So you can take this off and wash it if you need to. I absolutely love covers that have zippers. So this is very, very nice. I thought that was worth the money. I had to get it. So another store that I like to shop at, and I don't know if I've shown any footage on my channel uh, quite yet. I'm getting more into the bargains and deals there, trying to discover what they got. They have a lot of stuff that I like, obviously. Uh, <laughs> otherwise I wouldn't shop there. So anyways, this store, they have pretty good deals. They have amazing deals on their large, large pots. I cannot believe. I might have to buy some, but um, I need to keep going back and stocking the store to see what they keep getting in because some of the pots I just really wasn't super interested in, but they were really, really big. Like, um, one was like literally, these are like pots you put outside, like on your porch or something on a nice porch, but they were giant pots, probably like two or two and a half feet tall by like two, two and a half feet wide, like huge pots, you know, made of ceramic or cement, whatever it was made of. It was very, very heavy. And that was only like 40 or 50 bucks, which I thought was a deal because most of the time I've seen those, they go for a couple hundred dollars. So I was like, so maybe I'll have to pop in there and get a pot or two, we'll see. Anyways, they sell, they sell lampshades at decent prices. So this was only $3, which I thought was a pretty good deal. It's a small one and it has that like inside. I don't know if you can see that or not. So that's the kind of style I was looking for. And I like the way it angles out. And I thought it would go good with this lamp because I needed like this specific kind that fits on here. But when I put it on, I just don't know if I love it or not. Leave me a comment down below what you guys think with the lampshade on this guy. I did want something tapered so that it's easy to put my hand up in here to flip the switch. If it's straight up and down, it's just too hard to fit my hand in there. I think it's the cutest little lamp, but I'm not sure. I think it's the color that might be throwing me off this right here. So I'm thinking maybe I might have to change this up. Maybe give it a paint job. I don't know. Leave a comment down below what you guys think. This color of the lamp is like um, this pinkish undertone cream with a bluish grayish stripe going this way. It looks like, I don't know. I got this at the thrift store for a couple of dollars and I've had it over here sitting and I finally got a lampshade for it and I now I don't even know where I'm gonna put it. I'm thinking I might put it out here in my living room on my little TV console area that's cram packed full of decor because you guys know how I am. I need to go through and like pick up my favorite pieces and put some away. But... All right, so let's move on. Uh, another item I wanted to share with you guys. I got this from Amazon. Again, this is for my party coming up in April. So I got a little guest book 
so everyone could sign their names. And I like this guest book. Me and Stephanie got the same one, but hers is in like rose gold, I believe. Mine's in like a gold. And this is not like even a shimmer. It's flat, which I don't like. It works. But it has this really pretty inside that actually matches kind of our theme. We're doing a lot of these like boho leaves and stuff. It's going to be so cute. I love this here. We each got our own book. And then you, the guests can write what they want, maybe a favorite memory of us. And then I'm going to, we're going to have like a little photo booth where they'll take pictures and we'll print them out and tape them on this side. So I thought that would be really cool. It comes with like 40 pages, something like that. So I think that's plenty because we're not going to have that many, that many people there. This was only like 12 or 13 bucks off Amazon, but I will link this down below as well in case you are looking for a guest book for a party. Let's go ahead and get into Hobby Lobby because that's where we started today. And I just I just want to show you guys what I got so you guys obviously know I picked up that large large vessel I just think it's so gorgeous. Oh my goodness, and this is huge This was only so $27.99 with the 50% off. It was only like $14 Which I thought was such such a good deal for this. It's very heavy. Like I said, it's made of like it's made of that, that terracotta heavy cement, you know, and I love the ridges on it I'm not a huge fan of the coloring. It might grow on me, but I might paint it. I don't know. Let me know down below what you think I should do. I really, really like the shape of it. It looks like this, I want to call it a football shape. So almost like a football kind of. And I love this, the ridges gives it like a beehive kind of moment. This is just so, so pretty. When I saw this, when I first saw this and I first had it, I almost thought about getting it. But then it went on sale and of course I had to go get it. Um, and this also looks very similar to the new one that I saw at Joann Fabric. Figured I might as well save money because the one at Joann's is smaller and it's $40. So I skipped on that. I got a few other things from Hobby Lobby I want to share with you. So I did pick up that cute little smaller vase. I thought it was really, really cute. $5.99 for this one. Again, it was half off. So it was like $3.99 or something like that. It was only $2.99 actually. So this was normally six. So I only paid $3 give or take for this guy. And this looks very vintage. I don't really care for all these weird cracks that happened on the surface of it. So I might actually paint over this. I don't know yet. I'm not sure. What do you guys think about the cracks? Cause I want it, I want it to look old and aged of course, but it has this glossy feel to it that I don't really like. It looks too new to me. I really want to paint it and make it look more matte. If that makes sense. Kind of like this, how this looks like more matte, like cement. I also picked up the other little guy. I thought it was just too cute. This was $6.99. Uh, and again, it was half off of that price. I had to get that. They had larger, taller ones. I think I showed in the video with the cute little handles. I, I freaking love this. I think it is. I love it. It's adorable. I think it's a cute little moment piece to just pop, you know, on a side table, put some little florals or something in it or don't put anything in it, just display it on top of some books. A really cute little accent piece that I had to have, and I love the color. I think the color is very nice. Then I went down, I went down to like every section at Hobby Lobby, you know how I am, just like cruising the place. So I found these adorable wooden spoons and I had to pick one up. I thought it was so cute. It's super little. This goes for $7.99. This is in the spring tableware 2020 section. This one's made of black walnut, so it is a little bit more expensive. They had all different types of wood. I noticed that. It seemed like the black walnut or the olive wood is more expensive, probably because it's better quality wood and it maybe it's harder to source that type of wood. I don't really know. If you guys know, Leave a comment down below. I'm assuming it's better quality and it's probably harder to find that type of wood maybe. But I thought it was cute and I found these other spoons and these were a bit cheaper. This one, this one was $4.99. This one was $7.99. Again, all of this was 40% off. So it was cheaper than that. These ones are made of this type of wood. I don't want to say that wrong. Akashia, I think I said that right. I don't know. I love like the roundness of this one. And then this one, I just loved how huge it was. It's ginormous. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, here are my three wooden spoons. <laughs> 
All right, so from Hobby Lobby, I then popped on over to Aldi, which I did not pick anything up from Aldi, though the stuff there I showed you was, it was all right. So moving on to Tuesday morning. Oh my gosh, I gotta show you guys this gorgeous artichoke, the cement artichoke statue that I got. I think it's so, so pretty. I'm glad I found this. Online, it's going between like 40 to $80 and probably more with shipping. So I'm glad I found this piece. It's just, it's so cute on its own. It's just, it's labeled as table decor. So you just set it anywhere. But I, I think it's like supposed to go out in your garden, like a garden finial situation, but I don't want it to get ruined with my weather. Indiana's weather is horrid. You guys know, since you just watched me walk through the store, I also got these really cute bowls. You get a set of four for eight bucks. That's like $2 a piece, which I thought was pretty good, honestly. But they say they're made of porcelain. They're restaurant quality. So I'm like, okay. They look very nice with the ridges. And I thought this would be good if you ever had like guests over and you had like a little tray of like different types of dip. You can dip chips in or whatever, or even like little salsa bowls. Or if you wanna eat like yogurt out of them, I mean, there's so many uses for them. They're like a really good size. They do measure about 4.25 inches round. I love them. I think they'll go with any style of home decor. This could be farmhouse, modern. This could be rustic. I mean, anything. And my absolute favorite piece, oh my goodness, I think it is so adorable. Oh my goodness, like the cutest little thing I've ever seen. These little bunnies just trotting off into the wild, I, whatever they're doing. This is so cute. This would be very, very cute up on a shelf, maybe um, next to some books, um, maybe a book under them. But yeah, only $8 for the piece. And there was only one of them there, so I'm so happy that I got it. You know, I love collecting. My home decor collection is beyond growing. I just thought this was the cutest thing ever. And I would display this even past Easter, like not just for Easter. I think it's that cute with the little bunnies. I love it. This is definitely great shelving decor. I need to hurry up before my furnace kicks on. I also wanted to show you guys, I did pick this up from Joann's. You guys know I had to have it. I love the detail on it. I love the rustic kind of look. It looks vintage. This was only like $8, I think. I think I might use it for uh, when we do our 30th party, put this on the table and have lots of greenery coming out every which way. I could just see it just looking so good. Put some foam in here and pop in some floral pieces. That's what I'm thinking about doing with it. And then a while back, I went to Target, probably a month ago, give or take, and I found this. I don't know if I showed you guys already. This was only a $3 vase. I really liked the color and then the flowers. It, it really brings in the springtime. I thought it was just a really cute vase, only $3, I had to get it. But this is pretty small, maybe a couple stems in there. And then my favorite piece I found from Target was this amazing pot this is only 25 dollars. they do have a larger version but i love this pot because it has these cool like things on the side that just make the pot very unique and i like the texture on it it definitely looks vintage and old so this is very very nice and i like that it comes with these pieces it also has something in the inside there i don't know what that is exactly but it does say on the back, it's a Studio McGee planter, handcrafted. Each is unique. It's watertight only for water and not for any other liquids. Is what it says on the bottom. Love that piece. So I wanted to share with you guys these gorgeous fabrics I picked out from Joanne. Oh my goodness. I'm absolutely loving this. So this is just like this vintage blue. I would say vintage. I don't know, but it's like this muted blue. So pretty. And I love the little like sketched in white flowers with these strawberries and cherries. I just think this is gorgeous. <laughs> I love this so much. I got half a yard of each one of these. My next one that I picked out was kind of like this paisley ornate kind of design. I don't honestly know what it these are called, but all of these were only $3.50 for half a yard because it was on sale for $6.99 a yard, and it's all the keepsake calico quilting fabric. 
but I'm going to be using these to update some of my pillow covers. I'm just obsessed. And then I, I found this one, black background with like this red and white and gray floral print. I think it's so pretty. I really, really like it. Again, it kind of looks like vintage or something like that. And I really like this kind of updated that plays off with the vintage. It has this gray background with white and the black center and the flowers. I love that. I think it's so cute and whimsical. So I'm not really sure where each one will go, but I don't know if I showed you these ones. I got these a while back on at Hobby Lobby, and I am going to be pairing some of them with it. I love this. It's so gorgeous. I think this looks so designer. It's like black and gray floral print. Absolutely love this. I think it's so pretty. I think these were only like two or three bucks as well. Something like that. Found this floral print. And again, this was from Hobby Lobby. These, the ones I'm showing you now. I like this kind of, kind of for springtime. I think that'll be really cute. And again, all these are half yards. And the last one I'm going to show you is just a gray and kind of a navy blue, almost black pinstripe with this like tannish gray color and white. I thought that was very neutral. It could go with anything. So I picked that up as well. But yeah, I always get the fabrics half off or 40% off or whatever. They have a deal going on. So I wanted to show you those ones. And I will be kind of showing you later on in case you guys haven't seen any of my tutorials on how to make a pillow cover. It's so, so simple. I'm going to show you with one of these how to do it. Just so we have a new tutorial on it. And I'm going to try to simplify everything and get it straight to the point and show you what you need to sew. And yeah, so look forward to that little small tutorial. And if I can do it, you guys can make a pillow cover too. I don't know if I ever showed you guys this. I think it's so pretty as it is, honestly, but it was only $1.59 at Hobby Lobby. It was reduced and they no longer carry the print. I think that's why. I don't know. It's really, really pretty and there's really nothing wrong with it. It was originally 16 bucks, but I loved the wooden frame it came with. Uh, I actually really like the peacock. I don't know, guys. I'm thinking about painting over it to give this, you know, I wanted to paint like a landscape, turn it this way, and do my own painting, but I really like this. What do you guys think? Comment below if you think I should paint over it or leave it. This kind of rustic gold brass thing it's sitting on, I really, really, really like. So this is very tough decision, but again, this is only $1.59. I had to pick it up. And they have these gorgeous rustic brass looking cement and brass, I think, little poles, like drawer poles. They were only 49 cents a piece. I really liked those as well. I like mismatched hardware on some of my pieces that I do. So I thought these were a really nice touch. It ties right back into this frame. I love it. Okay, this stuff was from Michaels. I feel like, I don't know if I showed you guys this stuff or not. I don't feel like I did not. So I'm just trying to add it in this video. I didn't go to Michaels in the video, but I'm just going to show you real quick. This is a little Christmas book. I really like it, but I might paint over it to kind of just update it, you know, because it's not Christmas. But it opens up, has a magnet, and I showed you something very similar in the video at Hobby Lobby. They had this book. It was like $13.99 or something. This was a smaller one for $7.99 at Michael's. However, it was uh, like 70% off or something. So I only paid like two bucks for this cute little book. And it's really nice. Like It's like a canvas or something on. It's super thick. It's not like thin cardboard or anything. Wanted to show you that. I might update it to cover a different color. Like more of a neutral. I don't know. This is nice, but I might change it. And then I got two of these guys also in Christmas ornaments. They were like two, two or three bucks a piece, but I thought they were so pretty. This gold with the mercury glass mirrors. I love that. This looks so expensive, but I only paid like a couple dollars for it. I don't know if I'm going to use it as an ornament for next year or if I'm going to just use it for something else. I think it's cute and can go in any home decor. It's just a star, you know? So we'll see what I do with it because I think it'd be fun to have this one and the other one. I got two of these hanging side by side and then have some lights near it so that it reflects the lights and these just kind of hang from the ceiling.
I wanted to take a moment to show you guys my avocado seed or avocado pit beads that I made. If you haven't checked out that video, I will link that in the cards above as well as down below in the description box. You guys, I cannot believe I found this for only $20 trying to beep that out so we don't have any <laughs> problems with YouTube but this is gorgeous oh my goodness so right now it's just sitting on my porch I cannot believe I found this for only $20 I think it's made of like plaster it's not cement but I don't know if it had cracked here I don't know I'm thinking about maybe painting it so all of this blends um, obviously around the same color like this cement looking color I don't know or I might just leave it as is because it's so cool so, I just can't believe I found it I don't know where I'm gonna put it but I had to get it for $20 so there's another great find from the thrift store and I also found this large humongous pot for $16.99 this pot is about 15 or so inches tall and right in here, it's about, I would say, nine inches wide. About six inches wide down here. So it's a pretty large pot. And it came with these gigantic florals that I don't really care for in the pot. It's just huge. I, I'm obviously going to take these out. And I want to redo this pot and do this amazing thrift flip I saw on Instagram. I will link her original post down below like i'll just link her instagram so you guys can see what she did but i'm gonna try to recreate kind of what she did oh my gosh i'm so excited the florals i might take out and reuse in a different pot and not do so many i think there's a lot going on here it's just too much so i'm gonna remove those and get this pot cleaned up and work on painting it so it looks gorgeous i cannot wait another super large find this was only $11, guys. I'm obsessed. The table is so, so pretty. I love it as is. It just has this character to it. This, like, vintage feel. I don't know. I love the three little legs. I love the brass detail on it. It's gorgeous. I can't believe it was only $11. So, I moved... Um, it's over here. I moved this table out of the way and put the stuff that was on it on this table. And I like it, I think, a lot better. This dark really plays with this green. I don't know. There's something about it that I like. I'm going to have to figure out this cord. But I really, really, really like it. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Because I know you saw me here doing my little haul video last night. So this is like the next day. I just wanted to let you know. I'm going to show you what else I picked up at the thrift store. And some other goodies I got today. I went shopping again. <laughs> I found this gorgeous lamp. I just thought the silhouette was so pretty of the lamp. I don't like this baby blue gray color though. I'm going to change that. So it, that kind of is going to be updated as well as the little top piece. But I love the shade. It looks very vintage. Even like the yellowy tone, the cream tone that it is. And it looks like fabric. I don't know. So it looks very like vintage. I don't know. I love it. This was only $8. So I thought that was a good deal. Right now they have, they, they put a red light bulb in it. So I'm going to have to take that out and I'm going to do a little DIY, some painting on this. Make this look so, so pretty. Yeah. So I can't wait to get to that as well. Another grand find from the thrift store. This is so cute. I like it as is, but I am going to obviously paint it and upgrade it, make it look like an old antique pot. So I'm going to add some little handles on this. It's going to look so cute. I love the ridges. I love the ridges up here and just the overall shape, the silhouette I thought was gorgeous. So yeah, this was only $2 because it was half off the white tags. Not bad. This stands about seven inches tall, give or take. Sorry, this last part's a little bit more informal. I'm just trying to get through it so we can get through the video because I know this is pretty long and I didn't take you guys with me shopping today because I had to run around. I honestly just went shopping to get these from Joann's because they had the buy one, get two free deal. And I love those sales. And I really, really wanted this one here. I just loved it so much. I had to go and get it. So this was $12.99 for all three of them. Because you get two for free. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. I only paid maybe $14 total for all three of these. So that's not terrible. Especially for 
a pretty nice towel. Okay, these measure 16 by 26. It's a very nice towel. It's obviously gonna absorb when you use it. So I love the print on this one. I thought it was so pretty. Perfect for springtime, very neutral, classic vintage feel. I think this will just be around for a long time. I'm not gonna just go and get rid of this next year or anything, you know? Same with this one. I love the floral prints. I think they're so pretty and the sage green is still in. Color is still trending this year. So love that one with these little daisies on there. And then this one here, I have to wash this because this is a little gross on the floor. This one here, I really, really enjoyed as well. It has that sage green with the cream and it says the different names of the different spices and herbs. So I thought that was really, really cool. I love that. I'm not sure how long they have those door busters, so hopefully I can get this video out in time where you guys can run and grab what you want. They have so many good deals going on right now at Joanne. I went to Hobby Lobby again. I had to go back and get this because I saw this thrift flip on a different Instagram channel. Oh, I'm, not, I'm sorry, not thrift flip. I saw this Hobby Lobby flip on an Instagram channel. I will link her channel below when I make that video, but I'm gonna just basically be redoing some pots here. They have this pot, this flower pot, it's really heavy. I love the shape of it, but she added these cute little handles on the pot, like four different handles, and painted it, and it was so pretty. So normally it's $21.99, but they have it half off. It's only like 10 or $11 or something, and this is like pretty big. I would say it's about nine inches, 10 inches wide at the most. Uh, it says six inches down here, but I believe that's six inches tall is what that means. And this is this opening's pretty wide. It's probably about six and a half, seven inches wide. I think it's gonna look gorgeous once I add those little handles. And I think it'd look good if you put this type of floral in the inside, like a bunch of those, which I also got them from Hobby Lobby. I love those little guys. I think they look real. And if you did a bunch of them, in a wider opening. It just looks so cute. What else did I get? I picked up some yarn. I needed some yarn for a project. So I got a bunch of yarn in here. And then this guy I also wanted to show because I'm going to be doing a little Hobby Lobby flip with this one as well. This one stands about eight inches tall and five inches wide, give or take. So this one was only $11.99. So it was also half off. So I only paid five or six bucks for this. So I'm definitely not afraid to change up the color with these pots or anything because they're from Hobby Lobby. Everyone has the same one. You might as well make it your own. I'm also going to add these cute little handles on the sides of these and repaint this so it looks vintage and antique. I do like the detail on the bottom. So I'm gonna see if I can try to leave that, like paint around it somehow, maybe whitewash over it and then wipe it off. I don't know, we'll see what I end up doing, but I just got the idea and inspiration because of the girl on Instagram. Oh my goodness, her work is so beautiful. So I'm gonna have to link her Instagram below. That's the stuff I got today. Thank you for watching. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really do hope you enjoyed it and got inspired. Maybe you want to go pick up some new pieces for your home for springtime. So leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think, what your favorite piece was that I found, if you would or wouldn't buy any of the stuff that I bought today. Let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. It's at David Owen Creates. Hit that like button if you liked this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.